Kudzu has been jokingly called the vine that ate the South. Now there's yet another reason to despise this green menace. It attracts the kudzu bug, an olive-colored pest that looks a lot like a beetle. Don't be surprised to see them in your neighborhood. They seem to like white siding, and if you have kudzu close to your house, um, then you're probably going to see a lot of them. Knox County UT Extension Director Neil Denton is fielding calls from homeowners asking how to get rid of kudzu bugs. The bugs will soon be looking for a place to overwinter, and Denton says don't invite them inside. Basically, we're telling them the same thing with the other invasives, is just to, to seal up as best you can, uh, do some perimeter sprays around places that could be potential entries, doors, windows. The kudzu bug has been confirmed in about a quarter of Tennessee's counties. It was first found last year around the Chattanooga area and quickly moved to the north, the northeast, and now apparently is moving west. If kudzu is the main course for these bugs, here's dessert. They also feast on a top row crop. They feed on kudzu, they actually hurt the kudzu a little bit, they don't kill it, but they hold it back, they hold back the growth. Unfortunately, they do the same thing in soybean. It only takes a few swipes with a net for entomologist Scott Stewart to find kudzu bugs and other pests in this experimental field on UT land. Stewart says the bugs can reduce soybean yields by 70% in some fields. Other charming qualities, they also stink and stain. But the encouraging thing is, once the bugs are identified, they can be controlled. And it's not that difficult to manage. It's, it's relatively easy to control with insecticides. Uh, the downside is it tends to come in at a time and on a crop where we don't normally have to do a lot of spraying. So it's a, it's a new pest we have to watch for. Stewart says farmers and homeowners should get ready to find kudzu bugs. If not this year, then likely next. We'll never get rid of the kudzu plant, and now we'll have to deal with a pest that is apparently drawn to this vine. This is Chuck Denny reporting. Chuck, this may be the first time both of these have been found in the same soil.